All right, YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Another little update on the race car. We're actually um, on the road now, on the way to um, Wigan to see the uh, the very uh, nicely tanned Scouse pie eating uh, geezer that is Eric from KMS uh, Motorsport. Uh, just, I've just got the car back on the trailer now, which was an absolute nightmare. I have to do everything on my own. Uh, went to install a towing eye, realizing that someone's snapped the towing eye in the um, in the uh, the screwing aperture that you screw it into that's so i couldn't use that i had a phone a mate to come around and give it a good push onto the back of the trailer oh it's just a nightmare and i don't know if you can see but um because i've got no windscreen i had a tarpaulin on it because it's been on and off rain today anyway i've had to take that off because it was just flapping everywhere and i was like getting worried that's gonna like i don't know lift off the car and go on someone else's car and they're gonna just crash off the road and die and yeah not good but anyway, so we're just in hot pursuit now of the KMS Motorsport uh, Workshop in Wigan. Hopefully get there in about 50 minutes. And um, Eric's kindly said he'll remove the roof for me. So uh, yeah, progress. But a um, little bit of a road trip. I'll report back when we get there. So stay tuned. Enjoy. Right, finally got here. Car still in one piece. And, uh, there's some fruity cars here, I'll tell you that. Nice BM here. Got the main man, Eric. <laughs> some very nice cars parked in the car park. Usual uh, collection of Fords. You'll have to ignore the state of the place, lads. Obviously, after lockdown, it was still all in boxes, and we've not had the chance to walk back properly. This is the new premises you're not long moved into. Actually, the four wheel dyno still getting done. It's not a Ford. No. That's a bit of prehistoric motor in that, mate. So we've got a full 4x4 dyno room in here. Oh, very nice. What dyno is it? Yeah, uh, my half four wheel. Well, that makes sense the workshop. Evan's all shiny, spanking new. Check out the gym. Tell he doesn't use it though. Hey, I'm only just getting back into it. Oh, it's a lovely setup that. Did you have a look at the main workshop? Alright. Right, so we're in the main workshop now. It was a gym at work, eh? Mm. I've just caught them as they're wrapping up. We're just getting all the cars inside the workshop. Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car looking for some kind of. We've got the same, well, it's a shame. Shape is mine, just the one before. But it's got something a bit special in it. It's got the five pot in it. And I spy my little eye, a transmission tunnel. Look at that. Every Fiesta should have that 4x4 running gear. Can you drop it down a bit, Eric? Have a look at that cage. Yeah. Now that is what you call a driving frame. It's like Aladdin's cave in here. All tucked rear ends. Look at that. Yeah, it's not far off getting stick bounce through the gear and blast them. Machine weld and shit. Well, blast them, it's come back up as new, won't it? That is what you call the real deal. Oh, 
that old custom rear end. Fully adjustable rose jointed. The five glass cap. Is it? Secret room. Oh, I like that. Just your average sort of sap calls just uh, in the corner there. Right, so that's it. Finally back from KMS. Um, got back safely, got the trailer put away eventually, which is an absolute nightmare doing it on my Todd. But uh, yeah, I've had a good chat with Eric and um, got some really exciting things going on. I think we might be doing a custom exhaust on it while it's there. Um, but it's it was just what I needed, a good chat, and it's got me uh, motivation back up with the car because it was, it was getting me down a little bit, you know, to be taking more stuff off than I'm putting on. But hopefully that's the... That's the last of the, the messing about, if you like. Um, hopefully the car should be back in the garage soon. Uh, a couple of weeks, maybe, something like that, with a full cage, and then we can start, put a bit of paint on the cage, and start bolting some goodies to it, and just get it built up. But yeah, I'm really, really motivated now, so it's a bit of a turning point for me. But on the other side of the coin, look at the state of this garage, an absolute tip. So uh, I'm gonna use the time with the car being away just to, just to tidy up the garage, get it nice and clean. Get it reorganised, have a couple of beers, and um, no, just get it ready for when the car comes back, it's all game on. But yeah, nice little cheeky video, and uh, hope you liked it. So I'll see you in the next one. See you soon.